Hi friends, welcome to General Surgery Made AC. Today we will be discussing on a topic called dysphagia and its causes. This question has been asked in many theory exams. Dysphagia, uh, basic definition is difficulty in swallowing. We can easily classify dysphagia based on the location or site where it occurs. That is, it can either be from oropharyngeal dysphagia oropharyngeal dysphagia or esophageal dysphagia Now let us look into each one of these. In oropharyngeal dysphagia, it is further classified into either structural type or propulsive type. In structural type, there is some structural malformation or difficulty causing dysphagia. The classical example is Zenker's diverticulum. It's neoplasm. Any neoplasm can cause uh, mechanical obstruction. In propulsive type, there is some difficulty in propulsion. And it is again classified into two types that is neurogenic neurogenic type and other one is myogenic type within the neurogenic type there are many causes First, it can be due to CVA, cerebrovascular accident, and uh, Guillain Barry syndrome is another common example. It can be due to Parkinson's, or it can be due to amylotropic lateral sclerosis. In myogenic type, there is myogenic failure causing lack of propulsion. The classical example is myasthenia gravis. The next most common example is myotonic dystrophy. Even poliomyelitis can cause myogenic type of failure. Coming to esopharyngeal dysphagia, it is again classified into three broad types. First one is extra luminal causes extra luminal causes there is some extra luminal obstruction causing esophageal dysphagia what are those it can be either due to an aortic aneurysm or it can be due to a thyroid enlargement, thyromegaly, or it can be due to dysphagia lusoria, a condition called dysphagia lusoria. We will look into each one of these in another video. It can also be due to a rolling type of hiatus hernia. Finally, rarely it can be due to some mediastinal swelling. This is regarding the extra luminal causes for esophageal dysphagia. Coming to luminal causes, that is some obstruction within the lumen. 
what are those obstruction within the lumen that is patient can have an atritic esophagus that is esophageal atresia or some foreign body causing obstruction and the final one is arising from the wall wall of esophagus what are those arising from the wall of esophagus yes the first most common one is ca esophagus malignancy the next most thing is stricture patient can GERD, even uh, gastroesophageal reflex disease can also um, present with uh, esophageal dysphagia. Achalasia, achalasia cardia. Plummer Wilson syndrome. And finally, it can also be due to, rarely due to, some congenital anomaly. So, this is regarding the classification of dysphagia and its uh, causes so broadly dysphagia can be classified into oropharyngeal causes and esophageal causes uh, within the oropharyngeal uh, type it can be due to structural or propulsive type in structural type it can be due to zenkers diverticulum or neoplasm in propulsive type, it is again classified into neurogenic or myogenic. In neurogenic, CVA, GBS, Parkinson's, amelotropic lateral sclerosis. In myogenic type, it can be due to my myasthenia gravis, myotonic dystrophy or polio. Uh, coming to esophageal type of dysphagia, it can be extra luminal within the lumen arising from the wall of the esophagus. Extra luminal type. Uh, aortic aneurysm, any thyroid swelling, external swelling causing obstruction, uh, compression on esophagus, causing obstruction, dysphagia, lusoria, rolling hiatus hernia, and other mediastinal swellings. Arising within the lumen, it is uh, esophageal atresia or uh, either for, uh, some foreign body. Then those arising within the wall of the esophagus, CA esophagus, strictures, GERD, achalasia cardia, plummer Wilson syndrome, and congenital anomaly. So, this is the basic classification of uh, uh, dysphagia. Investigation management will see you in another video. Thank you.